Hello, my name is Bob Kaberski with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This video covers the installation of the Avaya Flare Communicator for iPad application, the client-side configuration settings, and some basic troubleshooting tips. The Avaya Flare Communicator for iPad application is located on the Apple App Store. A search for Avaya on the App Store will provide a list of Avaya applications. Select the Avaya Flare Communicator. Then select the Install button to initiate the download and automatic install of the client application. This can also be done from your PC or Mac via iTunes and then sync your iPad to the computer. Now select the Avaya Flare Communicator icon. At this point, read and accept the Enterprise User License Agreement or EULA. Now select the Setup button from the Getting Started window. At this point, the Settings window will open and you are ready to enter the service settings and optional presence and enterprise search information. This information is typically provided by your system administrator or IT department. Please take special care when entering this information because mistakes or typos will prevent the client from functioning correctly. Enter the services server IP address and the domain information. The Avaya Flare Communicator Client is now ready to provide basic telephony functionality. The next steps, if applicable, are to enter the optional Presence and Enterprise Search configuration settings. For Presence, enter the IP address for the Presence server. For Enterprise Search, enter the LDAP server IP address. Select the SSL on off option. Enter your username and password. And finally, enter the search root string. Make sure this is entered correctly with attention to commas, capital letters, and spaces. Once you've finished entering the settings, select the blue Done button located at the top right side of the settings window. You are now ready to log in and begin to use the Avaya Flare Communicator for iPad client. In the event you experience problems with logging in, presence, or enterprise search, we will now cover some basic troubleshooting steps to help point you in the right direction. Keep in mind settings can be changed at any time by selecting the gear icon near the middle of the top of the user interface. If your service server IP address is incorrect, you will see a login attempt followed by a not logged in message and then several timed retry messages. And then finally cannot connect server message. To correct the problem, Verify and re-enter the service server IP address. If the service domain setting is incorrect, you will see an invalid domain error message displayed while attempting to log in. To correct the problem, verify and re-enter the domain information. If the present server IP address is incorrect, you will receive an error message stating the present server is not responding. To correct the problem, verify and re-enter the present server IP address. There are a few different error messages displayed if your enterprise search information is not entered correctly. If the enterprise server IP address is incorrect, you will receive this message. If your username or password is incorrect, this message will be displayed. If the root search string is incorrect, this message will be displayed. If you've entered your settings correctly and are still experiencing problems, it may be necessary to contact your system administrator or IT department to verify if you have been given the correct information. Thank you for your time today. We hope this information was useful. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at avaya mentor. Thank you for choosing avaya.